Second component of this, philosophically, is okay, and this is going to be a huge part of this. Huge part. And I believe this whole handedly. This is what the dribble drive does and what the great teams, the butlers do, and and uh, um, gosh, Appleton East did it so well with the Conan kid when we were at West, and is they they get you chasing, which they get you chasing, you are behind the basketball all the time. And how does that start? It starts with the hedge. It starts with the hedge. Okay, how, how many of you guys teach hedging right now in the gaps? And it's okay, I just wanna, how many guys do that right now? I hope by the end that you don't. And I still argue with, I still argue with head coaches, great head coaches all the time about this, but I believe you cannot leave the shooters. Now you can hedge a little bit, on a non-shooter, but I'm going to tell you a little bit why you just still don't come up all the way on the ball. Okay, because we pack, we are once he comes to this side, starts dribbling. We are forcing, we were, we're going to keep him in the middle. We don't want him to come to the baseline. I'm in the gap. We say we're we're in the pack, going back up just a little bit on the three right there on the three-point line. I'm in this gap, but my weight and my posture I have towards this guy right here, and how far that is is based on what type of shooter he is, and what type of athlete I am, okay? So if I'm a lousy athlete, which I am, okay, I probably got to be a little closer to him right here. But if he's a lousy shooter, which are you? All right, which, <laughs> then I can take a step, couple steps back here too. But we are never, my weight balance is going to remain the same. My weight is always, I would say, put it right here, balance, but coming this way. My weight is towards my closeout right here. And my, my, you can see my body is turned towards my closeout. Physically, I'm in this gap a little bit. So I present a visual that's preventative to this penetrator. Because I want him to look at me. So now you look at me and I'm like this. I'm this gap shooter. And now you add, let's give me two guys out here. Just two guys right here. And get, on, get in the flood position. Okay? Okay? Where's he going? Because the dribble drive, they're coming at this guy right here. And they're trying to get you to lean. And he's either going to kick, fade to the corner, he's either already going to be on the wing, he's going to fade to the corner, or he's going to Euro cut and come up behind him, right? He's going to pin you behind. But if you stay and you close and you got nothing, they're dead in the water right here. Okay? They're, they're, it's, it's stationary because they want to get that momentum going where the ball swings and the ball swings and you're always chasing and leaning or maybe even switching and now you're done. Eventually the great dribble drive and the great penetration teams will find a guy for a layup or a wide, wide open three off, off, off a kick. 